about to meet your maker. You!
die where you stand. One away, no way no Wadu Wakade. Foolish out, man. You best white legs, you think. By my spear, you die! You speak. I listen. Kill you. Maybe I not. Maybe. Strong warriors for Kaisa. Please, have you done everything you can for the sorrows? Are they all accounted for? You let them die. They needed you. Why didn't you help them? Never mind, I don't have time for this. Take the map. Just take it and go. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. After the White Legs drove the sorrows from Zion, they celebrated by destroying all traces of the valley's former inhabitants. They appealed to the Legion for assimilation, but were denied. Their failure to eradicate the new Canaanites in Grand Staircase and farther up the Colorado had not gone unnoticed. The White Legs made a half-hearted effort to find the new Canaanites, but were driven off by dead horses trained in the ways of Joshua Graham. The White Legs lost all hope of joining the Legion and disintegrated into a number of petty raiding bands leaving Zion Valley a polluted sister. Daniel evacuated the sorrows from Zion, but due to the courier's neglect, the White Legs butchered many along the way. Those who survived barely reached Grand Staircase, but once there, the dead horses and new Canaanites helped them settle. The unfamiliarity of their new surroundings and the loss of loved ones evoked a terrible and lasting grief among the sorrows. For two generations, many would die still lamenting the loss of Zion. Having helped Daniel and the sorrows escape from Zion, the dead horses returned to their home at Dead Horse Point. The tribe continued to learn from the new Canaanites and over many years built a flourishing community along the banks of the Colorado. Though the tribe's bond would endure, it was Joshua Graham's legend the dead horses would revere, not the tenets of New Canaan's faith. Already weakened by several seasons of bad trading, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was initially discouraged by the results of its expedition. 
The fate of New Canaan and the evacuation of the Saros from Zion made the prospect of trading seem fruitless. When Daniel told his family about the exploits of Happy Trail's employee, the Courier, however, New Canaan decided to repay the company's kindness. Twice per year, New Canaanites made the dangerous journey west to trade with a company in the city of New Reno. The Happy Trails Caravan Company could not survive on such trading alone, but the New Canaanites' generosity made tough times go easier. After leading the Sorrows from their home in Zion to safety in Grand Staircase, Daniel continued to wonder if he'd made the right choice. He spent his life evangelizing the beliefs of his people to a new generation of young men and women, as his ancestors had for centuries before him. He was happy with his family, but for the rest of his life, there were nights when he awoke with sadness to find he had been dreaming of Zion. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland.